Now, many of you suggested that nutrition information be incorporated right into the video. We liked the idea so much and thought it would be a great way to introduce my new Power Foods concept. I think your whole family is going to enjoy this and learn from the next segment. So let's get started. You all know that nutrition is a hot topic. Unfortunately, nutrition news can be complicated and contradictory. More and more often, my students ask for help in organizing and understanding all these nutrition facts. They want an understandable system they can follow to assure a proper diet. As you can see, we've broken the foods you eat every day into four categories. Now, the foods in the top of the chart are the ones you'll be eating most on my nutrition plan. You can look forward to lots of whole grain breads and cereals along with delicious fruits and vegetables. Now on the bottom, but no less important, are the meat and dairy products. Low fat, highly nutritious foods from these categories will also be a part of every day's menu. Each food category offers very special nutrients, ones that are essential to life itself. So let's take a closer look. We'll start with the breads and cereals. Many dieters go to bed at night dreaming of sinful indulgences with these foods only to wake up to another day of deprivation. Well, we're going to make your dreams come true. Generous amounts of these complex carbohydrates are essential to both a good diet and a legitimate weight control program. In fact, depending on your desired caloric intake, you'll have a minimum of four servings of these foods. If you're active and burn lots of calories, you may choose to consume several extra servings. So what's so special about these foods? Well, as you can see, they're loaded with some of the nutrients we tend to worry about. B vitamins, minerals, vitamin A, and so much of the fiber that we need every single day. And you might imagine, not all breads and cereals are created equal. So if you're fantasizing about fulfilling your four servings a day with cookies and cinnamon rolls, it's not quite what I had in mind. But we're going to talk about cookies later. Let's focus now on breads and cereals that will be a daily part of your menu. You'll notice that we've given foods three different ratings. Try to eat most of your servings from the three-star group. Two and one-star foods can be occasional substitutes. But if you're quite over fat, you want to stick with the three-star choices almost all of the time. Now, if you're a woman, you should eat about 1,200 calories a day. For men, it should be about 1,500. These calories should come from nutritious foods. Try to lose about a half a pound to two pounds a week and no more. If you're fit and active, you can branch out to the two and one-star foods more often. Let common sense be your guide. Now let's take a look at the fruits and vegetables. It's hard to go wrong with these foods. They're loaded with nutrition and low in calories. Unfortunately, it's a food category that gets shortchanged by many Americans. With all the new research indicating the tremendous importance of fruits and vegetables, you want to be sure to get four to five servings a day. You see, they're packed with vitamins A, C, folate, minerals, and fiber. As with breads and cereals, go for the three-star choices most of the time. Lots of people have told me that they don't eat many vegetables because they don't have time to bother with fresh. I'm always sorry to hear that because frozen and canned vegetables can be just as nutritious as fresh. The only thing to avoid is fried vegetables or those that come in a creamy or buttery sauce. Low sodium canned vegetables are available. Also, you can rinse packaged vegetables to remove some of the sodium. Now it's time to take a look at the lower half of our chart. While the foods in the top are foods of plant origin, these foods come mostly from animals. You might want to know that vitamin B12 as well as dietary cholesterol are found only in these two food categories. The meat group is a nutritional powerhouse. Some people avoid these foods because they contain saturated fat and cholesterol. If you choose your two daily servings carefully though, this needn't be a problem. Did you know that legumes such as split peas, beans and lentils are also part of the meat group as well as tofu and eggs? Legumes are a great alternative to having meat every night of the week. In addition to containing meat group nutrients, they're low in fat and contain no cholesterol and are high in both soluble and insoluble fiber. You may already be familiar with the nutrients that star in the meat group. They're protein, iron, zinc, and the B vitamins. Iron deficiency anemia is the most common nutritional deficiency in the U.S. today. So remember to include those two servings in your daily diet. Focusing then on the meats, you can see which choices will offer you those great nutrients with the least amount of fat. We put lean red meat in the two-star section, but remember, it's a great source of iron and you can eat it every week without feeling guilty. Notice that nuts, seeds, peanut butter, and so forth are also in this category. However, they're loaded with fat and calories, so we don't recommend them except on an occasional indulgence. And last, but certainly not least, we have dairy foods. 
you want to choose two non-fat or low-fat servings each day. Notice that cheese is found in this group. However, like nuts, it's loaded with fat and calories and most people will need to limit it as a dairy choice. Milk group foods are famous as a source of calcium, the nutrient that helps prevent osteoporosis. It's also a great source of protein, riboflavin, and thiamine. Now taking a closer look at the smartest dairy choices, you want to reach for the three-star and two-star foods most of the time. We have placed whole milk out with cheese because of its high fat content. When it comes to extras like mayonnaise and salad dressings, always buy or make low calorie and use it sparingly. Use non-stick cookware and use as little oil or fat as possible. Do all you can to remove excess fat from the food you eat. Do you remember my promise that this system will relieve you from hours of calculating fats, calories, and so forth? Well, let's take a look at the benefits that will be yours if you simply follow my system. If you eat the servings I've recommended from the three-star and two-star categories, your diet will automatically be low in fat, high in fiber, low in sugar, low in calories, lower in sodium, low in saturated fat, low in cholesterol, balanced, high in nutrients, both the major nutrients we talked about and the smaller nutrients we need from food. And finally, lower in additives. You didn't know that designing an ideal diet could be so easy, did you? If you realize that you've just been reintroduced to the four food groups in disguise, you get a star. Now in high school they seem boring, but now you know how dynamic and simplifying this concept can be. Make them a part of your lifelong family wellness plan.